everybody, Matt on the Flicking Feathers again today and I'm tying this Mirage Buzzer Absolutely deadly still water pattern As always, I'll put a materials list in the description along with a link to the Patreon page for anyone that wants to support the channel get access to the members only content and be entered into the giveaways So I've got my hook in my vise, it's a size 10 Kamazan B175 Tie these 8s to 14s And I've just started on some black uni 8.0 I'm going to catch in some black flex floss, super stretch floss Whatever you want to call it I'm going to take two tight wraps Then pull it as tight as I can and just take the thread down and touch and turns just to the start of the bend there see that tag end there I've left it's half the length maybe maybe it's a wee bit long half the length of the the thorax space there That's, that'll give me a nice flat tapered area later so or a smoothly tapered area I should say so I'm going to take my Mirage and this is large Mirage for the size 10 if you're more comfortable with the medium by all means use that and I'm just going to pull this so that the waist piece is coming, it's got to lie flat the length of the abdomen again I'm keeping everything smooth and level and I'm just going to run up with my thread and touch and turns And then just continue on up. And the flex floss stretches as your thread squeezes it flat. I'm going to take this mirage and come up, touch and turns. Right, you, you cover up the hook very quickly with the large. Size, so we'll come across here like that. Catch it, make sure your thread wraps right up. You can even come slightly further forward than your abdomen length. Um, and just tidy everything up again. I like to put a wee half hitch just to save my work there. And I'm going to take it the flex floss, I'm going to really stretch it for the first wrap I come up one two and then as I come the first two are really tight and then I'm going to slightly slacken the tension on the third, a wee bit more on the fourth fifth sixth then the seventh it's no slack but it's under is you know the lightest possible tension to keep it tight really and follow it with the thread catch it off again I'm going to cut my waist tag short at the length about half the length of the thorax and just take your thread forward touch and turns and it builds that up and you can see hopefully you can see there the body does taper a wee bit from that thin, tight floss up to the, the sort of looser bit with the less tension. And I've put about six or seven wraps, that's about ideal for a, a buzzer. You don't want them too flashy. Wing buds, I'm going to take some orange flex floss, but you can use whatever you like. Crisp packet, goose buy it. Catch that in. And then pull everything down and back and wind your thread back and touch and turns. To that first segment of the body. Again I'll throw a half hatch here just to help it like it stops any creeper at lock that can try to pull. 
and then I just check to make sure they look right on the bottom of the hook, which they are. And then I'm going to build the thorax slightly. Just a wee bit towards the front there, make it a bit more bulbous. Now it's just a case of taking your flex loss forward. Now you can either do them both at the same time, which I'm going to do. A couple of wraps there. Then check them. Make sure they're how you want them. Then Tighten up and build a. You want to make sure that your thread wraps are sort of travelling with this. I've got about four thread wrap widths there. I'm going to put a half hitch in as well. If you keep your thread wraps all right on top of one another, you're not actually. You're not actually. Um, securing the flex loss very well and when you stretch it it can often snap back so now I can stretch this and trim it and I'm completely confident that it's going to stay there right looks good so fly could be done here um, I'm going to add breathers some folk don't like breathers some people swear by them I don't know that the fish care it's up to you. So, I'll go back and show to you that again. Antron yarn I'm using, just a single strand on the, the 10. You need to split it if you go smaller, but you can use any white material really. It could be um, floss, glow bright yarn, marabou, up to you. I've taken two wraps and I'm twisting it. I'm going to take my two turns the other way. Just make sure we're nice and clear there. Do another two. Each way, so that's like four. And then a couple of wraps in front, just to lock everything in. And then it's just a case of whip finishing. I like to whip finish in front. I just do it by hand. You can use the tool. Sometimes I use the tool. Doesn't make any difference. I know some folk will try to tell you it does, but it's, that's just nonsense. Um, now, before I trim the breather, I'm going to varnish it. And I start at the back of the abdomen, put a very light coat on the abdomen and when I come to the thorax I can add a bit more, especially in between the wing buds and it will soak into the thread, the thread will absorb it. Right, and it will get another coat. Now, and when it's dry, I would cut this, but I'll just show you on the on the video. Um, come in, put my scissor blade against the eye, trim. That gives you these wee short one to two mil gill tufts. Obviously, if you cut it like this, you need to be a bit more careful when you're you're brushing because it's sort of sp uh, spread a wee bit. If you don't cut it, the yarn sort of stays closer together, sort of the, the fibres stay together, so it's easier to avoid hitting it. But just for the sake of the video, 
I showed you. So, I hope that was useful. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel. Headlines, guys. Bye.